Today on Second Page Headlines, people upset about stupid shit. Pivotal Living is working on a $12 piece of wearable tent. You know, the kind you wear while it measures different metrics throughout your day. Your sleep, your steps, your farts, your bowel Now, if you've been aware of Jawbone's up band, the Fitbit, or Microsoft's masturbation tracking machine, this really isn't a new thing. But what is new is the price point. $12 for the band and a yearly subscription. That's 12 months. What's also special is the unspoken acknowledgement that you may be paying a little too much for knowing too much about yourself. It's, it's like Edward Scissorhands, but with fingers. There's totally been an Edward Scissorhands with penises, isn't there? Generally speaking, you're not gonna find a recent generation band for less than $100. Now, if you are fortunate to spend over 100 and you have either the Jawbone Up, the Fitbit, or the Microsoft Masturbation Tracker, or the MMT for short, then you probably will have issues within six months of moderate use of that device. At least that's what I think. Now, by no means is my experience the only thing you should consider when you're getting this, and chances are it's not. But what I can tell you is that I had a really bad experience with Jawbone. Jawbone's Up Bracelet was released in 2011 and was mind-blowingly innovative at how it measured your sleep cycle. It helped you with your power naps as well as measured how active you were during your workout sessions. One problem though, there was no Android app. So I am excited that I purchased a Pivotal Tracker earlier this month and received it within three weeks. It's a lot better than asking for a replacement and receiving it within six months. Right? Shake. Good boy. Here's what I'm getting at. Pivotal Living is offering a $12 band and they're shipping it before the release of their Android app. Even better is they've specified when they're gonna release the app and people are furious. A status post on December 19th indicated that an Android update would be released on the following day. The next day's status update shows the app will be released on December 24th, pending the Google Play app review. Whoa, hold the phone. You mean to tell me that a previous status update saying that the Google Play app would be released by Christmas is correct? Why do you have to be so exact? Bastards. It's that thing where you say one thing and people jump on that and harp on that even when the situation has completely changed. I can't even imagine what it's like to do customer support with this company at this point. It's a stretch, but you can see where people might misinterpret the status updates or any updates period and say, this is what you mean fill the blanks in with what they actually want to have happen. They focus on that and that's that's their kernel of, of understanding of everything that has to do with life in this band because everything about themselves is wrapped up into this one thing that somebody they've never met created. They just want to define themselves by wearing this one piece of tech and it's not working. And because it's not working, they're pissed. They're just projecting onto a piece of plastic. Anyway, all that aside, let's just check out this montage of auditions for Scrooge McDuck. They're still small enough to do what they say as opposed to getting caught up in a bunch of bureaucratic bullshit. There's really not that many companies you can say that about. Anyway, keep it up guys. Have a happy holidays and keep kicking some ass. Thank you.